morning class. This is Mamado. Welcome to Mamado Classroom. Our lesson for today is about comparing and arranging decimals. Okay, let's have some drill. This is about mud syrup menu. So we have a double cheeseburger amounting to 28 and 98 centavos and a value meal of 54 and 20 and 79 centavos and chicks mud nuggets of 43 and 80 centavos. We have a small drinks of 15 and 98 centavos and mud blurry 21 point 99 centavos salad 64 and 80 centavos and the cheeseburger meal of 53 and 70 centavos and an ice cream cone of 12 and 97 centavos now i want you to arrange the amount of food from the expensive one to the cheapest one so let us see your answer Okay, so very good. So, the expensive one is the salad. We have 64 and 80 centavos. The next is the value meal of 54 and 79 centavos. Next is the cheeseburger of 53 and 70 centavos and the chick smudge nuggets of 43 and 80 centavos the double cheeseburger of 28 and 98 centavos the mud slurvy is 21 and 99 centavos the small drinks is 15 and 98 centavos and the ice cream cone amounting to 12 and 97 centavos Okay, it is correct. So we have already arranged this from expensive to the cheapest one. Very good. Now, how to compare decimals? So when we compare decimal, we use the terms such as less than. Look at the symbol. Less than. Then the greater than. Smile and equal to this one then comparing decimal is similar to comparing a whole numbers example 55 is less than 65 very good 250 is greater than 150 correct and when we compare decimals we use the place value or a number line. Remember that. Now, this is an example of place value. So, on the left, we have for the whole, a place value for the whole number. We have ones, we have tens, hundreds, thousands, ten thousands, hundred thousand, and millions. So these are the place value. And then on the right side we have the the decimal place value. So we read decimal as n. So the place value of 8 is tenths. And the place value of 9 is hundreds. 5 is thousands, 4 is ten thousands. 3 is hundred thousands and 2 millions. Okay? Now we have here a score of Karil, Madonna, Ria, Marian, Hannah, and Lenny. So we're going to compare the Karil score, this one, Karil score with Madonna score. So we have the first thing that we need to do is to line up the decimal point. So we have Karil 52 and 1 or 52.1. Madonna 52.5. 
So, we need to line up the decimal point. So, it means it must be aligned. No? Aligned. The decimal point must be aligned to each other. Then, next, start at the left. Start at the left and find the first place where the digit deeper. So, in this, oh, start with the left. No? So, what is the number here? So, we have 5 and 1. So, which is greater? 5. So, 1 is less than 5. And another one, we have 52 and 1 tenths compared to 52.5. So, it means, this means that the Kirill or means that Kirill score was lower than Madonna's score. So, Madonna's score is 52 and 5. While Kareel score is 52.1. So, 52.1 is lesser than 52.5. Okay? Next, let us try using the number line. So, we still go on the... On a, we will still compare the score of Kareel and Madonna using number line. So, this is the number line. So, we have... 52 so we have 52 the score of 52 is Ria and then next is 52.1 that is Karil and while Madonna score is 52.5 so we can see the numbers to the right are greater than the numbers to the left since 52 is to the right and 52.1 we have 52.5 is greater than 52.1 okay so we have a trivia equivalent decimal a decimal that name the same number are called equivalent decimals. Sample, 0.50 and 0.5. Are these the same? Okay, let us see. So, we have 0.5 and 0.50 and 0.5. Are they the same? Let us count. This, this grid contains 10 or 100 grid. So, 0.5 of this is this one. While this 0.5, the half of this is this one. That's why they are called equivalent decimal. So, they are equal. Now, let's go on adding zeros. This means placing a zero to the decimal. So, like this one, 0.5, we add zero here. Although we add zero, the value of decimal did not change. Adding zeros is useful when ordering a group of decimal. decimals. Now, we have number 2. Add zero so that each number has the same number of decimal places. Example. So, we have here, we have 25. In 25, there is no zero. Here. The next is uh, 25.8. There is no zero here. So we need to add zero. So from 25, we add two zeros. And on the 25.8, we add also zero to make it 
0.8 okay now arrange to the least from least to greatest least to greatest Here. so we have 25 24.95, 25.8, 25.01. So, the first thing that we need to do is to align the decimal point. And finally, we place the, va the value to compare the decimal. Always start with the leftmost digit. Let us see. So, we have 25. So, we add 0. Then, we have 24.5, okay, correct? And then 25.80, so the zero is there. And 25.01. So, we're going to arrange this to least, to greatest. So, the answer is, the least among this number is this one. Correct. 24. The next is 25. Then the next one is 25.1. And the last or the greatest is 25.80. Correct. Very good. Next, I want you to try this. Arrange from greatest to least. Previous uh, number that we did is we arrange it from least to greatest. Now, we're going to arrange this one from greatest to least. So, we have 45.06 and 45.7 and 45.5 and 45.84. So, what are we going to do with uh, 45.7? We're going to add 0 and also here 45.5 we need to add 0. So, align the decimal first 45.06, 45.70, 45.50, and 45.84. So the answer is, what is the greatest number? So we have 45.84, and next is 45.70, and next is 45.50, and the least is 45.0. Six. Very good. Okay, class. I want you to try this. So, we need to compare the numbers. Use greater than, less than, or equal to. And with this. So, we need to put the answer in the middle. So, I will give you time to think and answer the problem, your time starts now. Okay, let us now check your answer. So we have 2.90 compared compare to 2.66. So which is greater? Yes, 290 is greater than 2.66. Correct, very good. How about number 2? 57.6 compared to 58.2, which is greater. Okay, so 57.6 is lesser, less than 58.2. Next, 17.60 is equal to 17.2. 16. Correct. Very good. How about number 4? We have 4.42 compared to 4.50. So, 4.42 is lesser than 4.50. Very good. Next, our last number, we have 28.20 compared to 29. So, 28.20 is lesser than 29. 29. Very good. Your answers are all correct. Okay, class. I want you to keep in mind 
In comparing and arranging decimals, we can compare and arrange decimal to the to least to greatest, or we can compare and arrange it from greatest to least by lining up or line up the decimal point and the digit in their place values. Second, begin the begin comparing the digit with the same place values from the leftmost digits. And third, use the symbol greater than or less than in comparing the digit in the same place value. Okay class, I hope you learned something today. This is Mamma Do. See you on our next lesson. Thank you. Bye.